especially if you use the ultrasound. So what you do, you ask the uh, patient to actually flex the knee by putting something underneath. When you put something underneath, it flex the knee and you're actually basically putting your probe just on the top of the patella, okay? Flexing the knee, what it does, it moves the fluid into the suprapatellar pouch. And when you're doing this injection, you're basically using the lateral to medial approach. So you're basically injecting into the lateral suprapatellar recess of the knee joint, okay? So, what you're gonna do, just put the, so, <clears throat> the right is distal, left is proximal. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the gain, and I'm gonna increase the depth. Okay, so guys, in this image, I'm gonna show you a few structures. If I say that is a bone, what bone that would be? Patella, okay? What bone that would be, which, are, which you see here? Femur. Femur, yeah. Femur. Your night shift, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I let you off. <laughs> so, femur, patella. You have a quadricep tendon. You see this black thing here? That's your basically your suprapatellar recess. Okay, that's where the fluid is, because fluid looks black on the ultrasound, all yeah, right? He's got fluid there. Yeah, he's got fluid. Everybody will have a fluid. Now, you've got these three layers. Can you see the layers? One, two, three, yeah? So you've got the top layer is your rectus femoris, okay? The middle layer is your vastus medialis and lateralis together, and then you've got bottom layer, that's your vastus intermedius. So that's your quadricep tendon, but you look into the three layers, because the medialis and lateralis, they become a one layer. Okay, so that's that's how you would do. So to do the knee joint injection, the way I would do it, you can do it both ways. You can do it uh, an in-plane technique, and you can do an out-of-plane technique. So let's go back. So I'm putting it on the top of the patella. Yeah, I can see the rhesus. So now I can I can distend the rhesus by squeezing the fluid in. Here you go. Now I can see the rhesus nicely. Yeah. So look at that. So I'm displacing the fluid. Okay. I'm putting a pressure and displacing the fluid, all right? Now, the way to do this injection is the top edge of the probe, if I move a bit more lateral, then I've gone out of the quadricep tendon. And I can do in in-plane technique, bring the needle in from proximal mm -hmm. to distal, okay? The other way to do this injection is keep that black shadow in the view, okay? And then I can still see the see the suprapatellar rhesus, okay? Right, it distends, all right? Fluid is there. And you bring the needle lateral to medial, like you do for your popliteal nerve. Lateral to medial, and just go into that, that rhesus. Still see the fluid, okay? So that's where you're lateral to medial. So that's and this is connection to the joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this you're is basically, basically out pouching, you're getting into the joint. Yeah. Suprapatellar rhesus, so that's what you're doing. You're doing the injection of the suprapatellar rhesus, okay? So that's your knee joint. What else was there? Genical and nerve blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I usually do three. So superomedial, inferomedial, superolateral. To do the superomedial, you basically what you do is you look for the patella, uh, you look for the femur, gone down, okay? And then you move, and what you look for is the junction, and you see the artery, okay? Mm -hmm. So the artery is usually accompanied by a nerve, so basically that will be your area. This is your vastus medialis muscle, that's your shaft. If I keep going down, then that's you. Uh, that's the condo. Okay. So you would you would bring this in the middle of the screen, bring the needle nice in. That's picture, your superomedial. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got a fantastic uh, superomedial artery there, actually, uh, <laughs> Michael. Now, this is your condyle, Okay. Uh, and the shaft of the femur. And basically looking for the arterial pulsation. If you don't see the arterial pulsation. Mm -hmm. The idea is to you actually want to go at the junction of the condyle and the shaft, so it will be there. Okay. And when I'm doing radio frequency, I usually use that as a marker. Okay. So that's why you bring the needle in and, and land there. And that's your superolateral. Now, <coughs> the intermediate genital nerves are basically you look for the quadricep tendon and you come underneath the quadricep tendon. Okay. So you bring the needle from lateral to medial on the top. This is your femur, okay, and that will be your sort of prefemoral fat pad. Mm -hmm. On the top of that, 
this is your quadricep tendon and this is where you will go underneath your quadricep tendon and the superomedial a super sort of inferomedial is a very very much same what you do is you actually look for the look for the femoral or like a tibial condyle and tibial shaft and you see the arterial pulsation yeah. there yeah. and that's where you would do your uh, inferomedial genital nerve so you can do total four inferomedial superomedial superolateral and intermediate okay and when you do uh, uh, the radio frequency the only difference is you will bring that in the middle of the probe I usually use a marker or I put my finger there and then I put the probe like that so now I see the femoral uh, the tibial shaft okay and then I bring my needle in plane for the radio frequency bringing in this is the shaft and I go all the way to the posterior part of the shaft okay same thing I do here for the fem femoral so this is the femoral shaft and this is the artery yeah mm -hmm. so what I do I bring, bring that in the middle of the probe put my finger and I put the probe like that and now I see the femoral shaft and I bring the needle that way you know and this is the anterior part that's the posterior part so I'll bring it all the way to the posterior part of the same thing you would do for the superolateral okay right what's next